The condition refers to the middle child in the family at the center of the story. This girl, Gwen, has a condition called Turner's Syndrome. It's a chromosomal abnormality. It essentially means that a girl does not go through puberty, that she um, doesn't develop into a woman, at least physically. It was her father who first put a name to it, who took her for the blood test at Mass General. It was snowing that morning, the first day of Christmas vacation. Her parents had been fighting for several months. So Gwen, when we meet her later as an adult, has the same stature as when she was 11 years old. She's about four feet, eight inches tall. She looks physically very much as she did at age 11, but she's, of course, a grown woman with a woman's intellect and a woman's emotions. So um, the story, in part, has to do with how Gwen negotiates through life as a grown woman whose physical appearance is confusing to other people. One, she would be short forever. Two, she wouldn't have periods or three babies or four breasts. She had two chromosomes like everyone did, but one of hers was partly missing. And these other things would be missing as a result. I think we live in an age where so much of what used to be considered normal human experience has been medicalized. I mean, think about it. You know, um, melancholy or worry or distraction, restlessness, you know, wrinkles, crow's feet, bad sex. There's a pill to cure just about everything. Um, so many of us go through life feeling as though we should constantly be improving ourselves, trying to perfect ourselves. Her parents argued. After each argument, her father dragged her to another doctor, an endocrinologist, a pediatric cardiologist. Blood was taken, an ultrasound image of her kidneys, x-rays to see the bones of her hand. The shots would make her grow several inches if she was lucky. Of course, being Gwen, she wasn't lucky. A year later, she'd grown less than an inch. So this is really a story about a family, about five people who are making peace with who they really are and their own flaws and weaknesses.